Hi, welcome to Standing Stone Learning Center, home of Woodby Designs. I have freehand in pencil these designs. I am using a walnut hollow. VersaTool, this has heat control. And I have a calligraphy tip on the end. However, this tip has become very worn out. It's got soft edges because I clean the soot off of my wood burning tools with a pretty much worn out sanding block. I also use the, your basic walnut hollow. I have a flow tip on here, just a sort of a rounded point. This does not have heat control. I'm going to work on this big piece right now. This has two trees up front that sort of frame this circle. I'm going to be doing those really, really dark. And then my trees that are sort of in stones that are kind of going off in the distance to indicate a path. I will do those in a much softer tone. As I'm doing these trees, I'll give you a little background. 30 plus years ago, if not longer, I tried wood burning. I had, I actually did have a walnut hollow tool. It was just the single heat tool with a flow tip on it, just the, sort of the rounded pointy tip. And I was trying out wood burning on, I don't know what kind of wood it was. It was a chair, a camp chair and I wanted to decorate it. Needless to say, my experience was horrible. Having no instruction, just a hot tool and a piece of wood, the best I could do was some really jaggedy lines and dots. Dots were really easy to make. And I decorated my chair and then put the wood burning tool again away. Never. And then 30 plus years later, I was at a tattoo convention. And there was a, a piece of artwork on an easel on one of the tattoo artists tables. And I couldn't tell how they did it. It was a beautiful rendering of a chickadee on some branches with a very soft sort of textural background. And I could not for the life of me tell what it was. It looked like watercolor, but it was on wood. I, I was perplexed on how they did it. And when I asked the tattoo artist, what medium it was in. He said it was wood burning. I said, get out of here. And I decided I would revisit this art form. And what I learned was most important. What makes the big difference in wood burning and being successful especially when you first start out, you're learning, is having a tool you can control the temperature and having the right kind of wood makes all the difference. I prefer to work on poplar. The other woods I prefer are uh, maple. Maple is harder than the poplar, and as long as it's sanded very, very smooth, it works nicely. And birch is also a very nice wood to burn on. This is birch. 
And those are your two key ingredients to having success at this art form. Proper wood and a tool that has heat control. And most wood burning tools come with different size and shape tips. The tip that you use also makes a big difference in the work that you're doing. What I like to tell my students is that wood burning is just like drawing, but in slow motion. As you can see, I'm kind of just putting the tool on the flat, soft, rounded edge and I'm just pulling it down very slowly and consistently to get this tree dark. You can also make small circular motions. The circular motions will leave a texture that's very nice but if you want it a solid, 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 and you don't want the texture of the, the circular motion, then you hang out a little bit longer in that one spot, and you can get a very consistent dark tone.